to make apple crisp bread. This was actually requested by my mom because she is she loves all of my apple recipes. So, and it's basically layers of vanilla cake and cinnamon apples, so good. So the ingredients are super short and sweet. You probably already have them on hand. You're going to need some granulated sugar, unsalted butter at room temperature, some eggs, flour, salt, baking powder, vanilla extract, and some milk. Let's get started. So in your sugar, you're just gonna take your unsalted butter at room temperature and just throw that in. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna mix this until it's all well combined. And all you're gonna do is just gonna add your eggs and swatch of vanilla. And then mix it all together until you get a beautiful golden color. Okay, look at that. Those eggs are all beaten in. Now all we're gonna do is just add all our dry ingredients, the flour, baking soda, and salt, and you're gonna add your whole milk. Super easy, like I said, and it makes the most delicious cake batter. So mix that in, dry ingredients and milk, let that go until you get a nice golden doughy consistency. Alright, that looks pretty bomb. So here, oh yeah, and I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I, you have to prepare a loaf pan with some parchment paper and grease it. That's my oven. And grease it with some nonstick spray. Right right there. For the apple portion of my recipe, you got, I have some honey crisp apples that I peeled and washed and cut into like small chunks. And he, this is to coat the apples, the brown sugar and cinnamon. For the topping, it's gonna make like a streusel topping, brown sugar, cinnamon, and all purpose flour. So first, just move that aside. You're just gonna add your brown sugar and cinnamon right into your apples and just mix that in. Okay, so all I did was pretty easy stuff. Took half of my cake batter, put it on, half of my apples and putting it on. I'm just gonna keep layering that. You should only have two layers. So what I'm doing is just putting my apples on. Just half of your apples, because those apples are really delicious. I have to say I have been stacking on them. So all I'm gonna do is keep doing that. A little bit more. That thinner. It's pretty good. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take half, the other half of your um, cake batter. Right there. I'm just gonna pour that all in. I'm just gonna put some more of my apples, all the rest of it just goes right in. See that, it looks so beautiful. And you can see all that liquid there. That's why you need to do it ahead of time, like a few minutes before you actually like layer, because you don't want that liquid. It's just gonna make your cake all wet. Which you don't want that. This looks so beautiful. Just gonna put it in. Now all you're gonna do, you're just gonna get this sousa topping, up flour, cinnamon, and brown sugar, a quick mix. That looks good. Just pour that all over the top. Okay, so just put this in the oven, which was preheated at 350 degrees, and it's gonna bake for about an hour, and you're gonna let it cool completely on a wire rack. And remember, if your cake is getting too dark way too quickly, cover it with aluminum foil and pop it back in. Okay, so I got out of the oven, and I let it cool completely on a wire rack. And I did put a glaze on, powder sugar and milk, really simple, just to like let that cake just soak up all that glaze and it's delicious. I did cut out of the piece so you can see those beautiful layers. You can see how that cake just kind of soaked up all that glaze and just got so moist. It is heavenly. I'm just gonna cut myself a piece. It cuts like butter. Did you see that? Do you see how beautiful and white and fluffy that cake looks? It's worth money. Dude, like really. Oh, 
so excited. I'm hot. It's so low. It's like, mmm, fluffy. Mmm. It's so moist to where it's like unbelievable. It's so good, so fluffy. You have to make it for anyone, for you, for your mom. You haven't lived life if you haven't eat the, eaten this. Go to the description box, description box below to get the recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye.